So congrats on Wonderhole. Um, can you talk about what fans can expect to see on this and how it came to be? Wonderhole is an adventure birthed from the minds of a 40-year friendship. That's the two of us. Uh, it's genre bending, docu reality mixed with like scripted elements, chasing our whimsical desires uh, wherever they lead. And how it came to be? We have been making content together for a really long time. You know, we started on YouTube in 2006. And for the longest time while we were doing content on YouTube, we were also trying to get some traction in traditional media on with, with TV. And we had a couple of success stories of, of getting a couple of things made. But too often we had to compromise our vision because we were trying to reach someone else's audience. We were trying to reach a network's audience. And so it became this game of us packaging ourselves, A, to sell a show, and B, to make a show that would reach an audience. And in the meantime, we were building this very faithful audience that liked to see things that we created here at Mythical Entertainment. And so this was a recognition that the audience was there, and now the production team and facility is has been in place for a while. Why don't we just take that barrier out of the equation and make something directly for them that is like the kind of thing that we would have made for a traditional streamer. And I heard that this is going to have everything. It's going to have sketch comedy, musical music, um, visual effects, celebrity cameos. Um, what can you tell us about that? And are there any celebrities you can tease? Yeah. And in, in episode one, we have a very specific voiceover from a wonderful, uh, Kiwi voice. Uh, we're huge fans of Reese Darby, so we're, we're glad that he's a part of it. Um, Randall Park makes a singing debut, as far as I know, uh, within Wonder Hole. And there's, there's, there's a number of other uh, surprises along the way. And who would be your dream guest? If you could like shoot for the stars and get anyone that you wanted, who would be your dream to have on Wonder Hole? I don't know. Who do you think? Maybe LeBron. I think, it was, yeah, Le LeBron. Um, I think at this point, you know, apparently it's really difficult to get Daniel Day-Lewis to come out of retirement to do anything. Uh, Once he sees Wonderhole, but though. But I feel like we might be might, able to sell him on this. He might come out of retirement for this. He's going to come out of retirement to be <laughs> in a YouTube video. I mean, you never know. You never know. Crazier things have happened lately. Yeah, what I would tell him is that, Hey, YouTube's not what it used to be. You turn on right. your television, you got all of the icons up there. You can stream on anything. So YouTube is no different. And, and also, we take a lot of sips of a lot of milkshakes. I mean, you never know. Will Smith is out here vlogging, so anything's exactly. possible. Right. Um, now, I also wanted to ask, I feel like fans would be obsessed if you guys had Mr. Beast on. Would that be something that you'd ever want to happen in the future? I think he's doing okay without us. Um, well, you are and so are we, I think. Yeah. Well, I totally agree. And I feel like you're both like the OGs. Like when I think of original um, YouTubers, I think of both of you. Um, you've been around for so many years. Um, would you have any advice that you'd want to offer for someone like Mr. Beast, um, who is an up and comer and is just, uh, well, he's not really an up and comer, but somebody who is newer to the scene on YouTube? The thing that we've learned is that you, you have an audience that you're building a relationship with, and then when you hire people that you're working with, you're, you, they're also your audience. You have to lead them just as well as you have to lead the audience on the other side of your screen. So that's something we take very seriously. And um, we wouldn't be able to make Wonder Hole if it wasn't for the amazing team that we have here at Mythical Entertainment. We have about 100 employees working in our studio in Burbank. And it's, it's kind of a dream come true, but we don't want to make it a playground just for us, but also for all of the crew members here. And how will this new series be different from Good Mythical Morning? Because you have such a large fan base who are so obsessed with Good Mythical Morning. Um, how do you think that they'll be liking the new series? I think Good Mythical Morning is, there's a few things that make it very specifically what it is. It is 
obviously completely unscripted. It is putting us into a situation where we are in a reaction mode and just being ourselves and being friends for 15 to 20 minutes every single day. And it is happening Monday through Friday. Wonder Hall is, it takes, I think, some of those elements of us actually having a good time together, you know, in really being friends in the moment, but taking us out of the studio, putting us in a lot of you know, bigger situations, more interesting situations, really going on an adventure, but then folding in a lot of other storytelling elements that we like, like the sketch comedy and the music and the celebrity cameos and really telling a story. Good Mythical Morning is more about tuning in for sort of a comfortable experience and an episode of Wonder Hall is about going on a journey. And I know that you had mentioned that this is uh, television quality content um, for a YouTube audience. Could you talk a bit about why you feel that YouTube and the internet are the way to go when it comes to reaching um, your viewers? I know I personally watch all of my content on YouTube and my phone pretty much these days. I don't really watch a lot of like TV anymore. Um, and why do you think that this is the, the future for digital media? That's a good question. I, I opened my mouth like I was going to answer. I heard you. I heard breath come out. I was about so to I answer. It. I was like, "Well, damn, I need to think about this some more." Okay. Well, you want to think some more while I talk? Yeah, go ahead. I think, you know, simply stated, it's where the audience is. You know, YouTube created this incredible social media platform that was also a distribution platform for creators of any size, and so I think the way that community is built on YouTube and the way that you interact with your community is very different than any other streamer. You don't see, and maybe and it's a completely different experience. And, and and I understand that there's no comments and there's no users opinions and feedback that you see when you watch something on HBO or Netflix, but YouTube is very different because that connection is so immediate and there's, a type of content that can be born out of that process, out of that experiment uh, that I think you can't get in those traditional spaces. And it's the type of connection and immediacy that the audience, the younger audience especially, demands. But they still want to be taken places. They still want to be taken on adventures. They want to, they want to experience storytelling at the same time. So Wonder Hole is really our effort to combine that, to do something that's true to the YouTube platform that feels like it should be a YouTube video but also gives you something else that you haven't seen before in that context. Totally. Um, and can you talk a bit about your friendship um, and how that's helped with your career and why you love working together so much? We are about to celebrate 40 years of friendship because we met on the first day of first grade. And it, it, it took us many years of creating content on YouTube to realize that People were watching because they wanted to be a part of our friend group. They wanted to be the third person hanging out with us. And so we really cracked the code with Good Mythical Morning and talking directly to that to you as a third friend. And I think we found other ways over time, including now with Wonderhole, to put our friendship not only on display, but to invite each individual viewer into the adventure with us. You know us, you can predict how we're gonna to respond to different things because you spend so much time with us on Good Mythical Morning. But now let's do something different. Let's go on an adventure, something that uh, stretches the, the very fabric of reality. Do you trust us? Yeah, I think that one of the cool things about working with your, your, your best friend is, you know, if you've got a close friend and you make each other laugh and you like hanging out with each other, sometimes you might, somebody might tell a joke and you might think to yourself, wow, I wish somebody could have been rolling on that. <laughs> so I wish somebody had captured that. This is how most podcasts get started, mm -hmm. is that friends are talking and then they begin to think that they're entertaining and begin to think that somebody should be listening. It doesn't always work. But it's cool that when you get to this place where you can have these conversations and these inside jokes that we have, and we have this history with each other, and you can create your job from that, right? And you literally create the content from that interaction that you have on a daily basis. That's awesome. And could you describe Wonderhole each in three words? 
so we get six total. Thank six you for total. that. Six total. All right. Let's alternate. Well, I was I was going to give a, a a sentence. Okay, fine. I was just going to say, wait for it. That's three words. You know when you start watching a video and people say, wait for it? I'll say, unpredictable, um, emotional, hilarious. Those are all good well, as well. 